All right, what's up, guys? John with Springer Collectibles, and this is going to be our first interview show. I don't know what to call it yet. We'll figure it out. But uh, Jay Barker, as he's known on Whatnot, has agreed to be my guinea pig here. And uh, he's got a killer collection, as you can see in the background there. So we're going to get to know Jeff a little bit. Yeah, Jeff. So thanks for joining. And it's awesome to have you in, in the Whatnot streams. And you always contribute so much. And I feel like I know you and other guys <laughs> in the stream. But I know. I know. It's like weird to get the you know face to face. It's uh, cool. Yeah, definitely want to learn more about your journey as a collector. So, you know, from playing with these toys as, as, as a kid and then looking behind you, the massive collection <laughs> you've, you've acquired. Tell me about that journey. Well, uh, the massive collection behind me, I, I, I blame you for part of that and, uh, <laughs> and the whatnot stuff. And this collection is kind of, you know, like a lot of us, it started, it started when I was a kid, um, when I saw Star Wars in the theater when I was seven years old for the first time. I played with toys uh, as far as action figures like Adventure People and some Shogun Warriors stuff here and there. Star Wars was really the the gasoline on the fire and really no holds barred. Then most of the most of the Star Wars collection figure wise behind me here are childhood mm -hmm. ones from that I've I've had since I was a kid. Oh that's awesome. Yeah. And then you know kind of moved out moved out of Star Wars when it started petering off around eighty two or so, eighty three and and really jumped into G.I. Joe's around 83. Collected Joe's up till about 85 or 86, went away to college, and also um, ever since, throughout all that, I was a comic book collector too. And yeah. so tons of comic books, and the black boxes you can see over here are all comic books, and down here, down below here and stuff. So Nice. Yeah, and then kind of got out of it a little bit, and then got the bug to get Star Wars stuff again in the 90s when uh, Power of the Force kind of kicked back off again. Really complete most of my Star Wars collection then. And just kind of kept them in boxes for a long time. And then a few years ago, kind of started getting the itch to get a few Joes. Because I only had a, I had a few only left when I was a kid because my mom gave them all away. Oh, I think, man. I think everyone has that story. Yeah, um, it seems like it. <laughs> yeah. And so was able to salvage three or four of them and like one or two little small vehicles that i had and that i kept kept them um from when i was a kid and then me and my wife moved into this new house and i was able to you know with COVID hitting everyone working from home mm -hmm. i'm working from home i still am and this is my work office okay. and i thought i thought we're moving into this big new house and it's like i want to put out my collection yeah and so i we bought some shelves and and some display areas and started putting things up and then i discovered whatnot and your stream and it just went kind of nuts from there and most of the joes that you see in this part are from whatnot purchases wow yeah and um and a lot of a lot of the ones that uh they're in the cases you know got into some army building still am and kind of that's where i'm at right now that's awesome, man. Do you remember uh, some of the first Joes you ever you ever bought? Like, what was like one of the first? The very first Joe I bought was Breaker. You remember? That's amazing. Okay, 80, Breaker. eighty three Breaker because wow. I was always a big I was always a big military history buff and okay. fan. Almost went in the military when you know in, out of high school, and wow. um, didn't. My best friend did. I didn't. And I was always a fast. I was always fascinated from Joe's standpoint with the detail. The M60, the not not sorry, not breaker, rock and roll. I meant rock and roll. Okay, rock and roll. The M60 that that rock and roll had was yeah. so small and detailed, but accurate to me. I I got to have that. And huh. then also, I got into Joe's because of the comic books. GI Joe number fifteen, okay, um, was the first GI Joe comic I ever bought, and it's it's still in the case over there. I was a big GI Joe fan of the comics. I liked the cartoons, but. I, I, I was more of the comic book fan, and then that drove my my purchases for 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 the for the figures. Man, I'm jealous that you have those kind of memories. I can't remember what I did like. <laughs> it's so fading cool. fast. <laughs> <laughs> no, I hear that. How did you find out? Um, back to um, whatnot, real quick. Actually, I want to talk more about your collection. But how did you find out about whatnot? What brought you to the app? Yeah, I can I can remember what my first figure was, but I can't remember what how I got hooked up with right? whatnot. Um, <laughs> I think I just saw it on a. On someone else's uh, YouTube channel, just mentioned it that that was a good place okay. to go to buy stuff, and I can't remember whose channel that was. So I did, I downloaded it and just started searching through it, and you know filled out the account and filled out that I want to see streams about action figures and yeah. comic books and you know what a few of the other things that they have, and found your stream one night and jumped on and awesome. kind of scary at first because like I didn't know everybody <laughs> and and didn't know anything really is like what am I doing and. <laughs> And then it just kind of hit, and it's like, oh man, here comes the hit on the credit card. 
Yeah, it's so easy to buy on there, right? <laughs> it's <laughs> way too easy. Buy, 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 and you're like, we're just pulling out of PayPal, and you don't even yep. know. Yeah. Yep. But, but it's been great. It, it's an amazing app. It's revolutionary. It really is. I totally agree. QVC on uh, on speed, basically, yeah, or, or eBay, eBay, eBay on crack. Speed. Yep. On crack. crack yep. <laughs> yep. Uh, you mentioned you mentioned army builders a few minutes ago. Uh, who who are you army building right now, or who? Um, you build? Some of the um, mostly Star Wars stuff actually. Um, okay. any, of this, any of the Imperial troopers guys, stormtroopers, Tie fighter pilots, ADAT drivers, um, Imperial guardsmen, any of that kind of stuff. I, I'm really trying to trying to get. And then of course, there's always on the Joe side the original guys, the Cobra officer and Cobra trooper. Would love to army build um, a bat. Uh, army but i that's just ridiculous the prices have gotten out of control yeah you probably um, saw the prices were what do you think of actually on that what do you guys what do you think of the pricing uh changes like what, what have you seen over the last few years i, I wish i would have got i wish i would have got into joe's back again three years ago like i thought like i thought about um before things really hit you know covid driving prices through the, through the roof for everybody because everybody's at home going yeah. through their stuff going, gosh, I have this, I have four or five figures and I loved these when I was a kid, let's get back into it. So huh. it's, it's crazy what the prices have done, even in the last year. Okay. I think there's, I think they're tapering off now. Yeah. Uh, it feels like things are tapering um, down a little bit. I don't think there's going to be a big bust, thankfully, but I think things will slow down a little bit. Um, but yeah, prices are, are nuts. I, Star Wars and all kinds of stuff are, are just, are just nuts. For uh, as far as Star Wars go, did you you said you bought stuff in boxes before? So you have like stuff that's you were buying stuff that was already carded back back then, like vintage stuff that was carded. No, I I, I stored my stuff in boxes for years. Yeah, uh, I I had Star Wars stuff in in boxes you know in the closet for for ten fifteen years. Like I said, most of like my really spendy uh, Star Wars figures, I I got those in the mid nineties. And when I was getting them for forty, fifty, sixty dollars a piece, when they're now they're five, six hundred dollars a piece. Well done. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 that was the only thing I really lucked out on. Joe's stuff, you know, like the I have a uh, Mickey Mouse Cobra Commander that's in pristine shape, and I bought him probably about a year and a half ago, and the price on him is almost doubled now. It's amazing. Yeah, it's crazy. So is that one of your biggest flexes as far as Joe figures go? Would you say? Yeah, Joe? yeah. Joe, Joe's Joe figures. Um, he's definitely my my favorite. Um, my, so that's my the biggest, grail. My my grail figure. Um, <laughs> he's kind of hard for focus, but yeah, he's hard to focus. But I see the blue is perfect on that. You did well. Yeah, the logo is perfect, and the the face paint is perfect. Um, and uh, yeah, he and I've got, you know got the hair dryer on the back. There's no discolorization on him at all, and he's he, there's no. No paint rubbing, I can see, and, and I, I paid like four hundred dollars for him, and I think he's probably six or seven now at least. And in that pristine condition, maybe even better, depending. On, and yeah. with that file card, you, you told me about too. Yeah, so yeah, picked up. up, picked up from a, a whatnot friend. Okay. The, the file card. It's and, perfect. You know, it's the it's the cardboard back. It's the Sears, the Sears um set one that, that he came with. So. So that was more of like that's like your grail, your flex. What about like something that's like unique? or or hard to find or just something that's really um, to you that's kind of quirky you know i was always a collector of joe stuff from 82 to like 86 87 never really liked a lot of them because I, I just didn't know about it, the later ones um sure i was always kind of the snob on the coloring and that kind of stuff you know how things kind of went crazy uh, yeah. but then one really great thing about the whatnot streams and your stream especially as the experts that are in the stream yeah have taught me so much and, and taught me an appreciation of those later figures oh great and so i've really started getting into any of the scuba diving figures you know shipwreck version two and three and um deep yeah. six and how those guys have all the different versions of wetsuit and you know the different the different sets that they have there and so uh, let's see here so i can get a little closer yeah i see the uh the wetsuit versions and stuff here and uh oh i see deep six all in the right there yeah, yeah, and so I, I'm just in different torpedoes and stuff versions. I like um, Torpedo ninety seven. That that's a good one. Yeah. Oh, that's really nice. Which which one's that? Uh, this is wetsuit. I think this is the three pack that wetsuit came with. Um, and then there's a a deep six version of him. Nice. And uh, and then a different version. I think that's torpedo, but. 
I'm with you. That's a good. Uh, it's a good point about just getting a new appreciation for them and then discovering. Yeah, that's that's the biggest <laughs> takeaway for me from from whatnot is the appreciation I've 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 gathered um, for for those di- those different figures uh, from the from the later years um, up awesome. till you know whenever they kind of change the O ring designs around a little bit. Yeah, this is the first stream, so we're gonna make this up. We're gonna go with a quick kick round, which means I'm just gonna ask you quick questions. Okay. And just give me the first uh, answer that comes to your to your mind. Off the top All of my right. head. Okay. Favorite Joe. Oh god. Uh, Storm Shadow. All right. Favorite vehicle or playset? Tomahawk. Right. Favorite year. Oh man, that's tough. Uh 86, I think. Good answer. I like that. Okay. Yeah. yeah I think 86 is um you know, 84 is probably hard to argue with. Yeah. But 86 just kind of, I mean, you have so many. The, the breadth of the line in 86 is so amazing. The amount of figures that were there. Um, 85 is getting there. I almost yeah. think 85 for the quality, but there's some quantity that, and quality on 86. It's amazing. 86 feels like the, the when they peaked, kind of. Not that, not that there was a so big you know, dip after that, but I think that 86 is the peak. I agree. Oh, yeah. How about most underrated figure? Oh, God, I got to look. Hold on. <laughs> I, I think airborne airborne okay yeah I, I always loved any of the ones that are really really um military oriented with the coloring and that kind of stuff and his his gun with the, the with the uh the colt commander um m16 style gun with the uh the, the um, bayonet on it and his backpack i just i think he's great he's like a real gi like a actual yeah, he's, GI he's a real yeah. actual yeah he's got his he's got his helmet with the goggles on it and yeah and yeah i, I love him that's a good choice. He should. I feel like he should have come with a vehicle, or some sort of plane. I know, or something. and he was he was on a lot of the artwork. You know, he's on the off striker. Right. He, you know, in the comic book, he's always paired with Wild Bill in as the as the front seat gunner guy. Okay. Um, in in uh, for the dragonfly, so it's like him. I always put him with the with the dragonfly. Yeah. I was thinking, I'm picturing him be, to be with uh, like Ace, him and Ace. Yeah. Be, uh, yeah. Kind of a team there. I, I love Ace also, and the later versions of Ace when the, the gray coloring and stuff is are amazing. I agree. How about most overrated? Oh, I, I kind of think Duke is. Okay. I think that was all I had for the uh I gotta come up with some more quick kick uh stuff That's a here. good that's a good segment. Yeah, no, I appreciate it, Jeff. Yeah, um, no, I really appreciate it. Cool. No, man, thank you for everything for John, I appreciate it. This is fun. Take care. <laughs> yeah. See ya.